Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. I love how Mint is just in the background looking all cute. She also blends into the background. All you see is her rosy little cheeks. But anyways, today we are working on my campsite finally it took me a while but here i am finally doing it i was trying to find a spot to put my campsite and i ended up decorating my island and forgetting about my campsite so the only space i have available are my beaches which is okay with me because i actually like my campsite on the beach i cleared out a lot of my flowers from the beach so that i can start working on it this is the area that i'm going to work on and i'm going to put my campsite right here i wanted to push it up a bit because i wanted to put a tree behind it but that's okay i'll work with what i got now that i placed my campsite i'm going to start decorating i'm not going to put on my construction hat today because i don't need to terraform anything because i can't even terraform anything people were asking me why i use my phone instead of the app when i started this game i was using the terraforming app but i realized it took so much longer for me to place down one custom design at a time and when i wanted to switch custom designs i would have to go in and out of the app and scroll through everything i guess it's the same process but i feel like with my phone i'm able to place down up to nine pieces at once versus placing one at a time with the app so that's why i use my phone once you get the hang of the trick when you're trying to place it with the phone it becomes a lot faster so if you haven't tried it out you should definitely try it it is a real game changer but yeah back to the build for this campsite i wanted to make this area a little cottage core but not too much because I still want it to match my island although putting my campsite on the beach wasn't my first plan my original plan was to kind of put my campsite on the third tier and have like a sunken waterfall coming down from it I had that vision in my head and I really wanted to do it but then I started working on other parts of my island and I completely forgot my campsite the only time I remembered was when Isabel told me that I had a campsite visitor and I'm like oh yeah yeah my campsite i need to work on that <laughs> in my last island i did have some gnomes on the campsite and i like the idea because it looks like the gnomes are living here i'm also super excited because i'm almost done with my island and i can't wait to show you guys my island tour and give you guys my dream address so you can come and dream my island whenever you want i don't have much left to do i just need to work on my beaches fill in some small areas that i have left on my island which i will do in one video and finish my house and i'm completely done with my island which i didn't think i'll be able to say that i finished my island i love this island a lot it does have both the fairy core spring core cottage core aspect to it this is by far my favorite island but it might change once i start the alice in wonderland inspired island because i know i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that island but back to the build i decided to add these two cocoa coconut trees because I kind of wanted to hide the campsite a bit. I'm also super obsessed with this green leaf path and you guys already know about my obsession with that path. I talk about it in like every single one of my builds. <laughs> I just love it so much. It's so beautiful and so delicious. Like I can't get enough of it. If you are interested in any of the codes that I used in this video, I will leave them in the description below. For this next part, I wanted to add a little area where you can come and sit down, eat, read a book, or just chill by the water, just like a little hangout spot from the campsite. And I'm using the same green leaf pap that I used earlier as a base for my table. I like to add some sort of design underneath it. It can be easy either this path or a blanket. I like to just add it because it adds some spice to the area and not leave it so plain. I filled up the table with some random food items that I had in my storage and now I'm going to add some chairs. I love how Marshall just passes by with his ice cream, not offering any and absolutely has no care in the world. Absolute king energy. <laughs> and I thought it would be super cute if all of the chairs were mismatched. I thought 
out it added some personality let me know if you guys like mismatching items in this game i like doing it because it reminds me of your first apartment where like nothing matches because everything was donated to you so now you have all these different colored furniture <laughs> i'm almost done with the build i'm just adding some flowers because i have an abundance of flowers on my island I'm trying to use all of them up as much as i can i mostly have purple and blue flowers so if you need any flowers just let me know i love how marshall was just chilling with me throughout this whole process just watching me from afar not helping whatsoever i'm adding this little gyroid here and i went back because i didn't like the placement of the flowers that i had and i do that a lot where i place flowers down and later on don't like the placement of it i didn't like that i had those two flowers together so i removed the blue wind flower and swiped it with this purple mum flower because i felt like this area needed a little bit more blue and i changed the purple tulip for the purple mums and with that we are done with the build here is how the little eating area looks like i really like it a lot it's a very colorful and green giving me some spring core vibes like my whole entire island <laughs> and i like having a little spot for you to come and chill with me eat drink your little tea or coffee whichever one you prefer and just relax here after camping out for so long i absolutely love the view from here i love that you have a sneak peek of the campsite through the coconut trees i also like how the area on the left blends in with my beach design that i just made which i didn't notice until now and here is a close-up of the campsite i love it so much i actually had a campsite visitor today which fun fact i forgot to check who it was classic me so that villager is long gone because i play through to the next day so i am so sorry to whoever that could have been it could have been a dreamy it could have been a nightmare i don't know and the world may never know here is a closer view of the smaller section that i made in the beginning of this video don't tell me fauna has a thought bubble how dare you have a thought bubble after everything i've done for you you better not ask me to leave this island let me go see what she wants because i swear she tells me she wants to leave this island we're we're gonna have problems you and i me and you fauna all right fauna oh okay good she just wanted to call me by the nickname that teddy gave me i was about to say if you were going to tell me you wanted to leave i would have cried yeah i would have cried <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful let me know by hitting the like button and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to join our little ac family i will be uploading another video on saturday at 12 p.m eastern standard time i am trying to finish this island as fast as i can so that i can release my dream address and give you guys an island tour because i know it is been a while and i know that is something you guys want to see so bad i want to start working on my new island and hopefully i'll be done with this one by the first week of september or second week one of those i love you all always take care and i'll see you on saturday